Hello Capricorns and welcome into November the 8th, 2024. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are doing well. We are going to dive into this message. If you guys did not see the short, we have overcoming obstacles and denial that came out for today. Don't forget to smash those like buttons, leave a comment down below. And of course, make sure you are subscribed here. So listen, this energy has been consistent all freaking week. And I think that it's going to be important for you to really allow yourself to stop denying certain parts of yourself, allowing yourself to stop, um, um, unhealthy cycles, right? I'll just put it that way. Bottom of the deck is fuck being nice, but nice, uh, be nice, but not too nice. Not everyone deserves your kindness. Yeah, and I feel like for some of you, this is about not wanting to communicate how you really feel around something in order to fully release from it. We have meditate and validate your past. Quiet the mind and soul. Let your soul speak and validate your past. You did the best you could. Feel and empathize with your past. Do not judge it. Listen, Capricorn, you know exactly what needs to be done. You know exactly how you need to handle the situation. It just can be a little bit sticky. It can be a little bit tough. It can be a little bit difficult. Show us what we need to see here, please, Spirit, for Friday, November 8th, 2024. Five of Wands, King of Wands, the wheel. Mm. The King of Swords. And the Queen of Wands. Hmm. Capricorn, I see that there is a cycle of energy that's happening here. And I feel like this energy that is cycling is not necessarily cycling back around, but cycling out of and into. You've definitely been resistant here as it relates to your talents, your gifts, your abilities, and giving that to the world, giving that to others. But I feel like there is a sense of conversation, communication that allows you to roll into tapping farther into those creative aspects um, and your passions and what you have to give. You definitely don't see the situation for what it is fully. Um, but if you let go and kind of, again, where is it? Meditate, sit with yourself, sit with the energy you'll see and feel. Let's see. The world. The Six of Swords. You are, um, <laughs> you're building a new empire here, Capricorn. It is definitely an emotional attaching type of energy for yourself, but... There's, listen, it's very hard, you know, being repetitive when it comes to certain energies. 
um, and I definitely don't like to be repetitive, but it's it's about freeing yourself. Facing and owning your truth. What is that? Listen. You're being driven towards this energy here, Capricorn. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. Go within. Find where the energy lies and allow yourself to be free. I'm leaving this here. I hope you found this insightful and that it resonated. If it did or if it does, smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check out the rest of the readings from the week for this to fully make sense. And of course, I'll see you in the next one.